Hi, welcome to this video training of Node.js and this in this video training we will be going to learn about Node.js console module. The Node.js console module provides a simple debugging console similar to JavaScript console mechanism provided by web browsers. There are three console methods that are used to write any Node.js stream. Console.log, console.error and console.warn. First look at console.log. The console.log function is used to display simple message on console. So let's say if we want to say hello techweber, we just need to type in console.log hello techweber. Let's create a file for this console module.js console.log hello techweber save the file and I'm going to run it so okay you can see we have hello techweber as an output because of console.log the next is console.error the console.error function is used to render, render error messages on console so if you want to throw an error you can say console.error new error and within the new error you can pass a string saying hell this is a wrong method so let's try the console.error thing within the same file console.error and we can throw the error by ourselves in passing the string hell this is a wrong method that's it Let's command this save the file go to the console Okay, you see we have explicitly fired an error saying hell this is a wrong method using console.error function. The third one is node.js console.warn. The console warn function is used to display warning message on console. So let's say I want to generate a warning. First let's define a constant variable name called john and i can say console.warn and use the tick function because we are going to embed a very constant variable within the javascript don't mess with me dollar and within the curly braces i can say name name is our constant variable don't mess with me okay save the file go to console and run the and you can see we have don't mess with me john don't mess with me so this is console.warn that was all about node.js console module and i hope that you have learned the concept of using it in your applications for debugging and other messaging problems. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you next time with a new topic in Node.js.